guys welcome to a new video so put it up put it up put it up hello guys welcome to hello guys welcome to a new video so i might get emotional and i really don't want to i have been doing my fair share of crying for sure sure it looks it i'm just having like genuinely a hard time as you guys know, I met my girlfriend in person. It's never a good idea to cry on camera because I really genuinely feel like people will take advantage of you. And as great and as beautiful and as awesome as the internet is, there's also incredibly no life people that will literally make fun of you for almost anything at all. So why would you give them fuel? And you would think for somebody like Amber Lynn, who has literally been on the internet now for like over 10 years, that she would have learned her lesson to stop posting her relationship statuses online, bragging about how in love she is, telling people about how crazy her new girlfriend is, how amazing she is. I don't know why she always puts herself in these compromised positions. It's literally like somebody getting a bear trap, opening up the bear trap, putting it on the ground, and then going, stepping right into it and going, ah, I can't believe this happened. That's Amber Lynn every single time she posts about her new relationship. And by the way, she's been in like six of them, six or seven over the past like 10 years, which is insane. And I know about literally every single one of them. I don't know why I need to know about every single one of her relationships. It almost kind of seems like she has an inability to not tell people about her relationships. It, it's just like a passive ability for her at this point. Just like, hey guys, guess what? Here's my relationship. Please make fun of it. I don't know why she does that. You would think she would have learned from Becky. You would think she would have learned from Wifey. You would think she learned from Valentine. No, none of them. Literally, she has to tell us about every single one of them. And it always ends badly for her. And she keeps telling us. I don't know what's wrong with her, dude. And why are you crying about this shit? Did you really think that it wasn't going to happen? Literally, her Instagram name has changed. It used to be like something Bambi or like Little Bambi, which is insane because like anybody with the name Little for somebody like Amberlynn Reed is insane. But anyway... Her new name is like, you know, like I'm in love with Tommy or something like that, which is insane. Dude. It's like, not how old is Amber again? Like fucking 14. Why is Amber displaying clear signs of like, I don't know, teenage love when Amber is like 33, 34 years old. Amber, get over it. Okay. You're a grown woman. What do you mean you're in love? You just met this person like a month ago. Okay. You were with them for like a week. You don't. You don't love this person. You just want to be in love in general. And that's a problem with Amber Lynn. She doesn't actually care what the person is, who the person is, whatever character traits that person represents. It doesn't matter. For her, it's just about the person to be in love with. That's it. The idea of love, the spectrum of love is what she's in love with, not the person. But anyway, let's get into it. And like, for the lack of a better word, Cringe. like it was just magical, like truly magical. I, you know, I just, I'm, I'm, I know I keep interrupting this shit, but I have to tell you guys, if, if you're sitting here and you're telling me about how magical your experience was dating somebody, like that's cool. I understand that you guys are beautifully in love and things such and so forth. But like, dude, it shouldn't be, you shouldn't be bragging about your love. First of all, like it's, it's just really, really cringe because you're a grown woman. Okay. Everybody's had love. Everybody's gone through stuff, but for somebody like Amber Lynn, who's gone through this multiple, multiple, multiple times, I don't think she's actually in love. I think she's just lying about it. I think she's just like being inauthentic about all her emotions. I think she likes to feel like she's in love, but the reality of it is most of her feelings are like an illusion. Most of her feelings, cause I've heard her say this so many times. So like, if you told that other person that you're in love with them, if you told that other person, it was magical. If you took that other person that it was like the most amazing experience ever. And that was like a month ago. Like she just broke up with her last girlfriend like a month ago, by the way. Um, and now she's with this new girl, Tommy. So you don't actually love me because you told that other person you love them. And you told the other person that you really like talking to them. And you're telling me all the stuff you told them to me. That kind of makes me feel not so special, not so amazing. So I don't know exactly if Amber registers any of that as like a factual statement, but it's really cringe to tell somebody a month ago that you love them, you care for them, and you really like talking to all this great stuff. And then now you're saying the same thing about me. I'm kind of thinking that you don't really actually have emotions. You just want to, you want the idea of being in love. But anyway. And it just, I haven't felt that happy in forever. Sorry. You know, finally being with- and Again, like, why are you telling us about this shit, dude? Keep your relationship private. I don't know why, she, like, I get it, you're a social media influencer or whatever, but it just, there are some things that you just shouldn't be like, that's like somebody going, you're a social media influencer. Therefore, here's a picture of my butthole. Like, what are you fucking talking about? No, there are going to be things about you that you don't have to display to people. You're fine. It just- I haven't felt that happy in forever. Sorry. You know, finally being with someone like 
that I feel like isn't ashamed of me. Like, it just felt really good. A lot of people are actually under the assumption that the Tommy girl is only with Amber because of the clout and that they knew that Amber was already a big social media influencer and that was the reason they got with them, which is always going to be a problem, especially if you're a well-known individual such as Amber Lynn Reed. It's going to be very difficult to discern who uh, and what the motives are behind that person. So it's never going to be first forthcoming and you're always going to be questioning in the back of your mind kind of like being a really really pretty girl and never actually knowing if you got that job because you were pretty or if you were qualified for the position it's the same thing here so i mean for for somebody like amber it's going to be very difficult for anybody to find her attractive given the fact that she's literally chilling around 500 pounds and has been literally around 600 pounds for a I don't know, five year stretch. And that is actually not attractive for most people. Most people are not attracted to somebody that is literally unhealthy beyond belief. So I, do, I, I would struggle to even think why that individual, like what are the motives behind that person being in a relationship with you? That'd be something I'd be asking because I'm always gonna be on high alert about that. And so like I posted her on my Instagram. Which was not a good thing to do, okay? She posted her bullshit video on YouTube talking about how amazing it was, which is really, really crazy because in the video she said, Oh, I'm going to wait to show you guys. And then like the same day she posted the pictures on Instagram. This girl has absolutely no idea what I'm going to wait means. Like she has to post everything instantly to get validation from everybody else. As if we give a fuck that you're in a new relationship with somebody. Amber, it's not an accomplishment, okay? Like you literally get in relationships faster than anybody I've ever met in my entire life. And you're like a two. So like that should really tell you that you're like the relationships that you're in are all, like really unvaluable. They're completely like rock bottom, bottom of the barrel, like the scrudge on the, bo the, the bottom of the barrel on like a on a ship somewhere in the 1800s and it's like there's like teeth and scurvy at the bottom or whatever that's your relationships they're, they're just deteriorated beyond belief but go off queen i don't know why the fuck you would post about that shit and then get upset that somebody that people said stuff about your girlfriend dude um she does kind of look like justin bieber did from 2011 dude a little bit but you know anyway. as you guys saw i also posted her on tiktok terrible i can't even tell you how much support we got like it was a lot like majority of you are literally the sweetest like ever so thank you like from the both of us truly like a lot of you saw the happiness and saw the love just but your, your happiness is not real like your happiness is it only extends past the plate so i understand that you were probably feeling really intense emotions but one of the main things about a relationship is not those intense emotions it's the it's the long process okay it's the deliberate effort it's the deliberate effort it's the long like you're gonna have arguments you're gonna have problems you're gonna have things that you don't like about each other but those things can easily be mitigated if you're willing to compromise with somebody so when i hear somebody go oh my god we're so in love we're so amazing everything is like so perfect i'm thinking immediately red flags like okay it's good now but like two months from now when your fucking girlfriend is on her period and she fucking you know takes her tampon out and throws it against the fucking wall are you gonna have a problem then are you guys are you gonna have a comp conversation then like these are gonna be issues that are gonna arise maybe not that issue it's kind of an extreme issue but you know what i'm saying like there are gonna be problems that arise and because those problems arise you're gonna have the ability to compromise with things for somebody like amber who only amber has an, a, a problem not getting her way i've been peaked this amber has a real big issue when the other person is com is not completely committed to them and when i mean completely committed i mean genuinely like this person has to be calling texting good morning messages telling them they're pretty literally don't even work i don't know what amber expects for that other person not being able to work like it almost kind of seems like amber needs that person to be there 24 7 which is not possible and she needs that person to be there all the time and that is not ever going to be possible okay a relationship requires two people to be willing to do other stuff and then every once in a while you guys get together and do stuff together for some reason it's like complete opposite for amber it's like spend like 99 percent of every waking moment together and even when you're sleeping together be together and then when they're working don't work stay with me that is what amber uh, really really wants and it's a really toxic way of looking at any relationship it's like probably what i thought was a good relationship when i was like 13 years old but when i was like you know obviously now as a grown man i realize that people have their own lives and that you are your own complete individual and that person is also their own complete individual so you have to somehow make your relationship mesh together and compromise with each other to understand that not everything's gonna, not everything's gonna be perfect but that's okay because you can work stuff out together 16 second clip so thank you for that like trust me also that clip was really really cringy dude okay like you're doing just basic uh relationship stuff and some of the stuff you can't even do because you physically can't even get up out of seated positions in an optimal amount of time so there's a lot of it a lot of love a lot of happiness a lot cool. of joy when we're together tell like, us about the bad stuff it just it feels magical to me yeah and that's also a red flag anybody that talks about a relationship like this is <laughs> 
It's not, you're not ready for a relationship. I gotta keep it a buck. Amberlynn is not ready for a relationship. It's like, you guys know, I don't post my girlfriend. Okay, yeah, that's totally, yeah. We're, we're gonna believe that? You don't post your, you don't post your girlfriends. Really? Really, dude? Just because wifey, the black girlfriend, didn't want to be posted and was adamant about that doesn't mean you don't post your girlfriends, dude. I literally know more about your girlfriends than I know about some of, like, some of uh, my own relationships' girlfriends, dude, okay? Like, you, I, I know more detail about your life than, like, most other people. So, like, no, that's obviously not true, dude, okay? Like, I've, I'm deep in the lore at this point. It's online because... That's insane. Like, this woman is literally just lying to us straight out, dude. Because... People are crazy. <laughs> then if you know that you shouldn't be posting your girlfriend online, why are you doing it? That's so weird that you would literally admit that it's a problem and you still do it. It's almost kind of like you're literally setting up the bear trap and putting your foot into it. And then you're upset that you put your foot, your own foot into the bear trap that you set. My girlfriend's online because people are crazy. <laughs> people ruin it. They absolutely ruin it. Then don't post it. Without a doubt. But I remember there was a discussion that me and my girlfriend had. She literally asked me, like, is it important for you that your partner is in your videos? And I said, No. In fairy tale world, yes. Like it should never be. Okay, look, it's your own personal channel, and I understand this is like a lifestyle channel for Amber Lynn, so it's gotta be like her life. But no, dude, fuck that shit. Stop making everybody else a part of your video. It should just be about you, Amber. The fact that you do make other people a part of your video, it can be okay if it's like a friend, a friend or a family member, but your girlfriend, it should never be there, okay? Like, look, it might be okay if it's like, the first time you've ever done that. So you gotta make your own mistakes, right? And maybe it could work. Maybe you're in love. Maybe you're in a relationship already. Maybe you're married. And then you do like a couple's channel. Okay, I'm fine with that. But for somebody like Amber, who literally has an inability to post her relationship statuses online without any type of conflict, it's never a good idea for her. She's already learned this lesson from Crystal, from Destiny, from Becky, from, 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 from Wifey, from Valentine. Five relationships and now onto the sixth one. So you're telling me you've been through this six times, my bad, five times, and this is the sixth time, and you still haven't learned your lesson. How is it everybody else's fault? I'm so sick. I'm so sick of hearing people externalizing all of their problems. Oh, it's not the problem of me posting you online. It's the problem of everybody else reacting to the thing that I posted online, even though I was the one that posted this online, fully aware that people are going to say shit about our relationship. Why? would you do that then if you knew this was going to be an issue and you did you told us right now you know it's gonna be you had experience years of experience and you still did it you can't blame anyone but yourself it's literally just on you here yeah that would be really nice for me but realistically i would understand if my partner did not want to be it's not game. about what they want stop being a fucking child and man the fuck up okay get get your shit in order suit and boot yourself it's about what you want and you know it's not a good idea if your partner asks hey do you want me in your videos you say no because i've had bad experiences with that and i want this relationship to last therefore i think it's the optimal decision to not have you in my videos for the benefit of the relationship that's what you should be saying instead of going yeah, well in an optimal world what are you fucking talking about in an optimal world nobody would starve and everybody would be like great and amazing and fucking everybody would have butt plugs in and shit like that like yes it would be great but that's not what we're talking about we're talking about what you would want okay and you're you're, you're if you say that to somebody they're gonna think that you want them in the video videos i will never force someone to do that it's not about what they want and she said literally because it's important to me that's why she would be willing to be in my videos nah bro i i'm i'm thoroughly thinking at this point amberlynn is incapable of actually understanding the true motives behind somebody's because listen if that other girl tommy is clouded up uh or not clouded up and amber is clouded up and she gets in a relationship with amber even if they date for i don't know how long were they with with each other for like a week or something like that even if they were only with each other for a week can you imagine the amount of clout the amount of exhaustingly high clout that that tommy girl will be getting so she can be now, all these relationships, all, like, right? She gets into the relationship, all these people are gonna follow her now. She breaks up with Amber, which I'm calling, she, because there's no way this, this Amber can maintain a relationship. A Amber is literally incapable of re re actually being in a relationship. And the only way she can actually be in a relationship is if she's with somebody that she could just boss around. That's the only way. So for somebody like Amber, uh, you're gonna get into a relationship with her, 
and you break up with her. Now you just basically got like, I don't know, 60,000 followers off the back of Amber because how many people have done that? Literally all of them. And it just meant a lot. It was very like selfless of her. It's not, uh, <laughs> sure it is. Yeah. Only Amber can think of somebody doing something selfish as something selfless. And by the way, Amber, you know, it's not a good idea. And yet you're still looking at it as a benefit. You're fucking retarded. Just one example of like the way that she loves me. That's you guys have only known each other for one month, okay? You spent the first week talking, and then you spent the third week moving in together for like a week. You've been together for a grand total of less than a month, or maybe a little bit more than a month, and you tell me that you're in love with her? You have no idea what love is. You have the idea of what you think love is. I don't know where you got that from. Maybe it's the Disney movies that you watched. Maybe it's the, I don't know, like rom-coms that you think that you watched with Justin Timberlake and Mila Kunis. I like that one. You know the ones I'm talking about? Friends with Benefits or whatever it's called. You are incapable of love. I do not think you actually understand what that is. It's not the way you feel. It's the consistency of somebody. It's the understanding that this person is going to do stuff for you and be there for you consistently. And you think it's, oh, the way they make me feel or like what they're, no, this is a bad decision. And you know, this is a bad decision. You're telling us it's a bad decision and you're still doing it and you're still bragging. And you know, what's really crazy about this too, even though this is a bad decision and she knew all these things were happening. Okay. She then makes a video telling people how she feels and how bad she feels about it, which is the video we're reacting to right now. This is literally the pinnacle of retardation. I'm actually so surprised that Amber can actually operate within society with the level of with the level of mental maturity that Amber has. I'm actually surprised that she made it like this far with the amount of like with the amount of like people and, and, and success that she's had in her career. It's crazy. Like when you see something that's important to your partner, you kind of want to like make that happen for them. To a certain degree, like if my partner was like, "Hey, dude, I'm like really trying to murder somebody," I'd be like, "Oh, okay, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good." <laughs> I'm actually good. The same thing here. If my partner was like, hey, like, I would be in your videos. I'd be like, oh, yeah, well, that's fine. But like, I'm good. Like, that's not that's cool that you would like to be in my videos or whatever. But I'm actually good. Like, I actually don't watch it. It's actually not a good idea to be like that. That's that's probably what you should have said, Amber. And she wanted to do that for me. And I yeah, thought that was well. super sweet. So we were super excited to post that video on Instagram and TikTok. And again, the love and support has been just so appreciated but then there has been a lot that has happened since i posted it and it's literally just a 16 second clip and it has validated every fear that i've ever had about showing a partner on my videos or just on social media in general amber can be doing the same thing for literally years and then be surprised that it happens again there are so many rumors being made up about her. Things that are just like wild. Obviously, I have not heard every single rumor, so I can't say. I heard the feeder one. I heard that her her girlfriend, Tommy, I don't know the validity of any of these claims, but I heard that her girlfriend, Tommy, was a feeder and had killed somebody at some point. Now, I don't know the validity of these claims. I don't know if any of that shit is true. People just talk. I don't know. But you guys can let me down down below if you've heard any rumors or whatever, dude. We're all in deep here, so catch me up here and deny or confirm every single thing because literally it's just a lot i but think amber says literally quite a bit huh like it almost kind of seems like literally is one of the main words she squeezes into every sentence just to try to make it seem like it's a lot more valuable of a statement but i do want to talk about some of the rumors that i have heard because i feel like that's super important so the first thing is no she is not a feeder people think that she's a feeder and I don't know why she would even be with you then like if I'm being I'm, I, I know it sucks to say that shit out loud it's kind of crazy to say that but Amber is a very low value human being and I'm not afraid to say that you know because I've seen literally clips and clips and clips and clips of Amber and she could talk she could talk well she could be nice on on video but like when you catch her on the live streams we're talking about one of the most vicious vitriolic disgusting deplorable human beings you've ever seen in your fucking life dude she says shit and she talks so condescending to people it's actually insane dude and that's that's a sign of an inauthentic person like if you're on video and you're different from the way that you would because like on live stream if you're live streaming for like an hour two hours three hours it's very hard to maintain pain frame for two three four five hours at a time and now granted amber doesn't do that for that long she only really streams for like an hour because i guess any moment where you're 500 pounds consistently is agonizing so whatever i mean granted she's just sitting down when she couldn't even read her own chat to be honest so 
regardless. I've seen some of the most disgusting behavior I've ever seen from a human being be displayed from Amber Lynn. Now, granted, of course she can change, but the thing about Amber is that she's been this way for, I don't know, probably since she was about 16. A lot of people don't realize this, but you are basically the same person that you were when you were 16. Now, of course, as you grow older, you pick up more traits, you become more wise, you have more experiences, of course, but overall, you're pretty much the same person in this in the framework of your character traits, your personality. You're pretty much the same person that you were when you were 16. It almost kind of seems like for Amber, her 16-year-old self was a terrible person, and it, it, it's just, it just culminated even worse through all these experiences that she's had. So, uh, I'm happy that these claims aren't true of her girlfriend being a feeder or a murderer, if that is the case. I mean, granted, you don't obviously don't want somebody to be a feeder when you're literally 500 fucking pounds. But then again, I'm always thinking, what do you have to offer Amber? Literally. Uh, whenever I see Amber talk about relationships, it's always about what she wants. She never brings anything to the table, and now granted... She's obviously losing weight. She is out eating the Ozempic. I don't know exactly how fast that's going down, though. But she is more movable. But from the previous relationship, she literally physically cannot do anything in that relationship. So when, when she was in a relationship with somebody and they said, hey, let's go to the bowling alley. Nope, can't. Sorry, I haven't took a shower in over a year. So if you think that I'm literally going to go to a bowling alley with you, that's going to be impossible because my leg is actually super inflated. I actually tripped over the curb of the sidewalk today, and that's going to take me out of commission for four months. So anyway, I'm just going to play like my Nintendo Switch and play Fortnite for five minutes and then complain that I'm not good about it and then probably make like one video a week because I have no attention span and my my depression is like through the roof. That's like, yeah, that's Amber through and through, right? Um, and for somebody that doesn't do anything all day, why are you only making like one video a week, Amber? Can you at least like double, triple that output, dude? It's like these videos are like 10 minutes long you're literally not doing much in these videos put more videos out amber okay show some you have an audience okay dude she's definitely not that like yes she has you're like a why is she with you then i would love to know that like granted it's your relationship go ahead enjoy your relationship you don't owe us anything but since you're literally on this on this verge on, on this like role of telling everybody about your business i don't know why it wouldn't be it would not be out of the realm of possibilities for you to tell us why the fuck this person is even in a relationship with you you have zero to no value but hey whatever a specific type but i'm letting you guys know that like every single person that i've been in a relationship with everyone that you guys have known they said that they prefer girls my size that's fine that's fine they, yeah sure 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 they, they, they i'm sure that they said that i i've i've said a, i've said a bunch of things too i remember i was dating a girl who had a gap and that gap was big as fuck and she used to go do you think my gap is unattractive and i would look at her uh no 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 no, no. it's good it's good it's real good it's actually so uh yeah 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 it looked good it looks really good it wasn't good it was terrible but i lied and that's okay um, to lie sometimes for the benefit of somebody else, especially if you're not going to, like, actually do anything with that individual. The relationship didn't work out. Ultimately, I was lying to her, so it was not a good idea. So, uh, yeah, people lie. People are going to say things that are not true. And you know what? It's probably better to find somebody that you're going to be truthful with because overall, the truth, even though it hurts in the short term, the long term is going to be much more beneficial. Lies are really good short term, but, like, later on, that shit starts to add up. And then questions are arising. And then suddenly, you find out you're a fucking horse and then you lied to this person for eight months and now you're out there on the fucking farm trying to explain it away i'm sorry i didn't know that i was lying to you about being a horse you know i don't know whatever the point i'm making is things become elaborate and then you forget that you lied because it's not something consistently in your brain and it's an issue okay so when somebody says amber i prefer people that are 500 pounds they're lying to you who the fuck prefers anybody that's 500 fucking pounds who the fuck is this person are you sure that this person is real if somebody told me they prefer girl they prefer girls that are 500 pounds compared to conventionally women which are like i don't know 130 to 150 are you fucking dumb why the fuck are that's not even a good thing if somebody said they prefer girls at 500 pounds i'm looking like that's fucking terrible that is gross even if i am 500 pounds because that's telling me that you like people that are literally dying that is a thing that all of my partners have had in common and they all lie too if that's the case like i wouldn't doubt that they were just saying shit just to make you feel better literally i remember a video vividly in my in my mind of becky proposing to you because you kept asking her to propose to you so she eventually was like fuck it i'm just gonna have to do it just to get this bitch off my back so i wouldn't I would not doubt it that people are just saying shit just to make you feel better about yourself. But on the off chance that this person actually does think that you're attractive at 500 pounds, good. I'm happy for you. I think that I don't, I don't know if I would ever 
actually be in a relationship with someone who didn't prefer bigger girls. Well, that's also not a good thing either, because if you are in a relationship with somebody that thinks that you could be much more attractive or the prospect of you to be more attractive as a lower weight and would encourage you to be at a lower weight and possibly be in a position to help you lower that weight. And you say, well, I don't want to be with somebody that thinks I would be more attractive at a lower weight. You're fucking dumb. So like in both of these scenarios, it's not good. You literally are terrible because it's like, I am really big. But you don't have to be really big. You do realize that, right? Like the chances of. And I wouldn't see someone who prefers like smaller girls to be in a relationship with me. That probably would never happen. So nine times out of 10, when someone my size is in a relationship, it's more than likely because I am that person. Did she fart? Was that a fart? Why did she look away when she did it too? It kind of seems like she literally busted it down right there. Did you guys hear that? Hold on, hold on, bro. Let me turn that up. So my size is in a relationship. It's more than likely because dude, she fucking busted that shit down, bro. Damn, Amber just busted that shit down. Am I wrong? Did she not just bust it down right there, bro? I, she looked away too almost when she busted that shit. Hold up, hold up. Let me, let me just real quick. Let me just real quick my size is in a relationship it's more than likely because bro, she busted that's that's some straight ass busting right there bro i don't care what anybody says she busted that shit down that was her busting it down tell me let, tell me know down below if i'm wrong or right i am that person's type and that's no different in this relationship that's fine but the chances of you being somebody's type are severely diminished and you know what it would be more believable that this person probably just saw a video of you and thought they could probably manipulate you in your relationship and that's probably what's happening right now that's more believable than somebody being attracted to you, let alone somebody that's 500 pounds. That's incredible. That the, the, the fusion dance between you and being 500 pounds is incredible, like multiplicative amounts of disgustingness. So the chances of somebody liking you actually and your size simultaneously is insane. But to be- I would be immediately questioning that, that girl Tommy's motives. Feeder is a completely different topic a feeder versus someone who prefers bigger girls if somebody prefers bigger girls and they do nothing in order to get you off of that because like if you're in a relationship you should probably be incentivizing the other person to help you get out of that weight especially if you're fat and they do owe you that to a certain degree especially if you're in a relationship with them right um and they don't do that that might be passive feeding that might just or at the very bare minimum it might not be passive feeding but it just might be passive enabling if that makes any sense it's like being in a relationship with somebody with a drug addict like you're you're in a relationship with a drug addict and instead of encouraging them to get off the heroin you're just kind of like letting it slide like they're over there like you know tapping the fucking vein injecting themselves and you're just like this is okay this is fine you're not saying anything about it but you're also not doing anything about it either like that's a problem okay now regardless of what you think that's a problem so um either way it's not a good idea and you know what amber is a fucking dumb person so i wouldn't expect her to be critically thinking about this but to be honest none of this is actually critical thinking this is literally just surface level shit and amber is literally incapable of doing that as well and i'm now i'm caught in saying literally so two completely different things and she it's not too okay first of all doing nothing about somebody's weight and being a feeder are definitely different but they're definitely in the same wheelhouse they're on this they're on the same branch she's not that she is not a feeder I would never in a million years be in a relationship with one. There's also rumors going around that she has STDs, specifically herpes, which is freaking insane and absolutely not true. I don't understand STD shaming anyways. I think that's wild to me. It just depends on the STD. Um, if you got chlamydia, then I'm going to shame you for it. Probably, yeah, probably. Um, or if you got like, I don't know, dude, like the ones that you can get rid of, I'll probably shame you for it. If you got like herpes, maybe to a certain degree, it depends on the herpes. And also probably AIDS is okay. Like, I mean, it's not good, obviously. I'm not saying it's good, but I'm saying like people are going to get shamed for that. So, but that's a whole other topic. But no, she does not have herpes. That's crazy. That's good. So majority of these rumors actually came within like this anonymous person, like, cause this the screenshot is floating around literally everywhere and they were just like they made up this whole thing and this paragraph and it's like off the chain crazy something about how years ago my girlfriend had a wife and they were trying to like get money no my girlfriend has never had a wife she doesn't have a wife She's actually not the one that you should be worried about having a wife, but uh, we won't go into that. Uh, what does that even mean, dude? I, I'm just so I'm just so sick of people 
saying a whole bunch of hogwash and then not actually calling out the people that she's talking about, dude. Nut up or shut up, bro. Honestly speaking, say it with your whole chest. Name and shame. If you got something to say, say it, bro. People are already talking shit about you, Amber. Why does it matter if you go off and just start talking shit about somebody else? It doesn't matter. Just do it, Amber. Stop being a bitch. She's never asked anyone for money. She has a full-time job. That's she good. actually has She's a not going to have that for very long dating you. A really great life. She's never asked me for money. This is actually a- But you know what the funny thing is like, for some reason, Amber thinks that a lot of this stuff could be active when in reality, most of the stuff that she's talking about here is active, right? Like, oh, she's never asked me for money. She's never been married. She's never done that. This is a lot of active stuff. Like if I was to go up to you and I asked you for money, that's me actively asking for money, right? But if I'm dating you, there are gonna be passive benefits to dating you. Like for instance, the clout. Like people are going to know my name now. There's a lot of people that are going to understand who I am. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to want to watch me because I'm dating Amberlynn Reed, right? There's a lot of value to that. Like anybody will tell you that that has dated a celebrity. They'll tell you. You get a lot of people that want to watch you. People literally get famous off the back of dating somebody else. So with that information in mind, I don't know why Amber is so, so incredibly like focused in on the active the active is almost completely irrelevant i don't give a fuck if the person that you're dating is not asking for money or asking for whatever the fuck okay passively they're gaining stuff from you and that's okay that could be fine but it's important to acknowledge it at the bare minimum for some reason amber is just not acknowledging it topic that i brought up with her was like you've never asked me like how much money i make nothing like she has never talked to me about money I don't know why Amber feels the need to justify any of this shit. Like, if you know you're in a good relationship, just let it be what it is, man. Ever. I'm the one who actually brought it up because I was shocked by it. She was here for four days and she bought- Four days, man. Four fucking days and you're in love? A majority of everything for us. And it's just like, people think that she's using me for money. Nope. Amber is fucking stupid because look dude okay I don't want to be the bearer of bad news but somebody could easily just be look I'm I hope this relationship is great I'm always going to preference that I hope that Amber Lynn's relationship with Tommy goes well I hope that individual Tommy is a very great person I haven't seen otherwise so I don't know I'm just working off what I know okay when somebody you've been in okay none of this stuff is a green flag okay you met this person a month ago okay you were talking to them for a week they moved in with you for four days and you fell in love they paid for everything therefore they're obviously not going to be asking for money which is bullshit by the way because somebody could easily just be spending i don't know it's called a down payment and then like the repayment period is going to be easily way more like you know what i'm talking about like they pay for all this shit but guess what hey amberlyn reed um, do you remember that date that we went on and I paid for literally everything? I think it, like, since I paid for that one, you could probably just get us tickets to, like, Cancun or something like that for, like, a month and a half, right? Obviously, because I got you on the next time, right? I got you on the next time. Hey, can you, like, pay for my phone bill? Because, like, since I pay for that other stuff all the time, you got my phone bill, right? Like, you probably got that, right? Since we're, like, in love and all that stuff, right? You can just get that. Amberlynn Reed is definitely easily manipulated. Amberlynn Reed wants to be in love, so she'll try to hold on to that love for as long as humanly possible, and she'll get fucked. Uh, as a consequence of that, 100%. And I mean that morally and not physically, obviously. But it's just so dumb for her to be looking at all this stuff and think, oh, yeah, because I was with that person for four days and they did all this great stuff for me, therefore they're an amazing person. That's fucking stupid. That's dumb. That doesn't make any sense, Amber. She's extremely independent and... I find that to be pretty attractive, not gonna it just, lie. It just depends, man. I think attractive, I, I think being, okay, this is a side rant, but being independent is okay but obviously if you're in a relationship with somebody you want them to be codependent on you obviously to a certain degree right like I, it's cool that you're dependent but like let's do stuff together so those are like the main rumors and i'm telling you guys majority of the rumors that you're hearing are absolutely untrue. it's also a red flag to be like the majority of the rumors <laughs> the majority of the rumors so you're telling me there is some things that are correct what are those things there is this one thing that's floating around of this girl saying how like my girlfriend messaged her you know weeks ago it wasn't weeks ago it was months ago it was even before me and my girlfriend even started talking and that literally means nothing to me like okay. yes people have a past like i was in a whole ass relationship before i ago, yeah. met this girl literally like there is a ago. such thing as like flirting and they Amber has a tendency of forgiving things when they don't need to be forgiven. And then also she brings up shit that's completely irrelevant and defending that stuff. So like, for instance, here where she goes, oh, it's okay to have a past. It's okay to do this. Like in a way, she's kind of like forgiving herself too, because she has a past. So obviously she's basically saying like, well, I obviously have to forgive this since she's forgiving this, which is 
dumb. Like, it's yes, a pass could be forgiven depending on what it is. Like, obviously, you shouldn't be getting upset with somebody because they were in a gangbang three months before you started dating them and they were good that month you were dating them, so it's fine, sure. But, like, the way you're saying it is, like, we should just forgive anything that happens in the past because it's in the past, which is bullshit, by the way. Dating around and, like, trying to find your person. Like, I will never judge her for that. I think that's... Just, Amber also likes to take the high ground for some reason. I don't know what this is. Like, I don't know why she feels the need to be like, I would never judge her for that. That's okay. I don't give a fuck. What does that have to do with anything? Why are you even saying that? As if anybody's questioning whether or not you would judge her for her past relationship. Like, I, nobody fucking gives a fuck about that. It's like the most basic bitch take to be like, oh, yeah, I would never care that they dated somebody in the past. I fucking hope so. You guys are literally in your fucking 30s. I would hope that they, they you would be okay with me dating somebody else. Like, are you fucking dumb? Like, obviously. Who the fuck is asking this shit? I don't know why you're virtue signaling right now to make it seem like you're a good person because you're forgiving somebody that dated somebody in the past. I fucking hope so, Amber. It's really weird that that, that would even be like a topic of discussion that's because nobody is saying that is a topic of discussion they're saying that if this person was talking to other people while you were talking to that person simultaneously that would be an issue not that the other person was dating somebody else months before you guys were even talking that's not an issue nobody is saying what the fuck you're saying you're just randomly bringing up a scenario and going i don't know why like anybody is saying this as if like that's an issue that's like really crazy that anybody would say it. that's because nobody is saying that you're just making shit up <laughs> you're literally just trying to virtue signal to get like karma points or something of like oh my god amberlyn's girlfriend has talked to other girls nobody's saying that shit Dude, Amber Lynn is a fucking retard, bro. That's some dumbass shit. What the fuck? Nobody's saying that, though. You're lit you literally said at the very beginning of this fucking segment that people were upset that she was talking to other people while she was talking to you simultaneously, meaning like she was actively cheating on you or looking for other candidates while she was with you at the very bare minimum. Nobody is saying that if she was dating somebody a year ago and that people are upset. Oh my God, dude, your fucking girlfriend's not a virgin. Oh my God, you're a fucking weirdo. You're not dating a virgin. Nobody's saying that shit. You're fucking weird, Amber. Why are you even bringing that up? The past, like, duh. Amber is, uh, I'm sorry. I just like, sometimes I hear people talk sometimes and I'm like, dude, what are you even fighting against right now? Like, is, it, is this really like how you navigate the online landscape is just you just come up with random points that don't even apply and you just try to argue them even though they're literally nothing anybody's talking about? Like, what are you fucking doing right now? You're fucking, you're on some different shit. We, we all have. Like, you're literally, desperate. I've been in how many relationships? Also, Amber, you're fucking stupid. No, again, nobody's fucking talking about that. You're literally just bringing up bullshit. Like, bringing in people from her past or bringing in, like, family members or bringing in like friends or whatever it may be is just crazy and it's not warranted it doesn't need to happen amber is gaslighting like crazy right now what are you even talking about nobody's even saying that you did nobody is talking about that though like are, what are you all right amber hey, whatever bro i'm gonna let her catch this i'm gonna let i'm gonna let her catch this dub even though this dub is literally facilitated solely by her and nobody's talking about that like fine you got that you got that w hashtag winning on Amberlynn's side here, even though the point literally doesn't make any sense and nobody's even talking about it. You got that, Amber. You really got that. I just really want to protect her because her heart is so pure and genuine and beautiful. Like, one of the actual greatest people I've ever known. You're 13. Ah, bro, come on, man. You're fucking 13 years old, bro. What are you doing? You, 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 you're literally a child. Why are you talking like this, dude? Can you grow the fuck up? You're how old, bro? 30-something years old? 20 additional years on top of that 13-year-old mindset that you got? And you're literally talking about some, this person has a genuine art, a beautiful art, a, an amazing art. What are you talking about, dude? Like, what? Like, if I, if somebody was like, tell me about your person that you're with, I'm not going to go, oh, my God, they're so amazing. They smell so great. Their armpit hair doesn't exist. I love the way that their smooth faces after they shave their mustache because, you know, Latinas or whatever, they grow mustaches and, like, whatever. Like, it's just like, what are you fucking talking about? Dude. like nobody's talking like that like even people that are like married after like 20 years are not that gay that's crazy bro like what are you talking like this is why i say like amber has like this idea of what a relationship should be like and it's just not practical in any sense of the word because nobody operates like that in society and it's just weird to hear somebody say that shit like you can watch love island or you can watch like love is blind where people are literally like you know, oh, in the fucking pods where they're going, oh my God, I just love you so much. You're just so great. You're so beautiful. But guess what? When you spend time with those people and like you're actually with those people, that shit fades quick. And then you start to realize the reality of the situation, which is like, okay, listen, this person is cool and they're great. And it's awesome that we like have this communication and stuff like that. And I really, really like this person or even love this person. But sometimes they take a shit with the door open and I don't like that. And other times um, when they're menstruating, they're really upset with me for no reason. And you know what? Sometimes it's not even when they're menstruating. Sometimes they're just mad at me 
for no reason and they refuse to tell me that stuff and they're really passive aggressive and sometimes they're insecure about things that don't even make sense and here i am just minding my own business drinking coffee and you're yelling at me what am i even doing i don't know but the point i'm making is when you're actually in a relationship all that shit fades away like uh, and you know what quickly as well like your, your first relationship you should go okay like all this shit that i thought was like cool in a relationship and all this like lovey dovey shit uh it's cool but nobody does it it's just weird nobody does that shit and maybe your relationship is like that maybe you're like telling your person that you're with it, you want to like venus fly trap their penis in your mouth or something like that or you want to like chinese finger trap their penis in your mouth or something like that i don't know whatever the fuck you want to dock dicks um then you could do that you could totally do that but most people in relationships are not acting like that and uh it's very uncommon for people to do and i will do anything in my power to protect her she's this cringe i'm sorry bro what is this fucking you know what also it also makes it even worse given the fact that dude she's virtue signaling like so fucking hard here dude can i have a conversation with amber lynn is she open to have like conversations dude she needs like a wake-up call this is insane like this is some really cringy backwater shit bro what the fuck are you wait i'll do anything to protect her dude this this is a grown woman right like are you and you know what's really interesting too is like you literally put her in the bullseye here so um whilst saying hey i'm gonna do everything i can to protect her you are the reason why she needs protecting to begin with right am i wrong and then also she doesn't even need to do that given the fact that you literally asked her if she wants to be on camera and she was like yeah so if anything she doesn't need protected because she's an adult and she made her own decisions and you put her there to begin with because she's dating you and you're entitled to some of that blame and then also what the fuck are you even talking about protecting her you've done literally nothing besides make her life even worse so like what are you even talking about dude and this could have all been avoided and you're making it even worse you're like multiplying the cringe because you're making this video to make it seem like you're a great beautiful amazing person virtue signaling out the fucking ass to try to make it seem like you're fucking awesome oh my god i'm gonna protect my girlfriend she's so awesome what are you talking about dude what are you talking about people like dude just don't show your person that you're in a relationship with okay like it is what it is and you know what's crazy too is if you did do it and you mistakenly did it and now you've learned oh i'm never gonna do that again right let's say this relationship let's say you posted your relationship on instagram you could have seen the reception and gone i'm never gonna do that again delete the post and never talk about it ever again instead you want to make a follow-up video and cry and tell people how great you are and how great they are because you're gonna protect them what the fuck are you talking about can you can you imagine the domino effect in your brain to try to make the situation better but only progressively make it ass what are you talking about you're literally doing the exact opposite of what you're telling people that you're doing you're Ah, what are you doing? What are you talking about? None of this makes sense. Am I dumb? I'm dumb. I'm dumb. It is what it is. I'm stupid. One of the actual greatest people I've ever known. And I will do anything in my bro, power. Tommy got to put a condom on for all this dick riding, bro. Like, hop the fuck. Listen, dude. Like, if I'm dating you, it's cool. You want to defend me? Hop off my dick. You do like, bro, come on, man. Let's be, I'm my own man. I can handle myself. It's fine. Don't be sitting there trying to, you know, like, gloss my shit up like this. To protect her. Like, this has been affecting her. She's not used to being in the spotlight like this that's great but she's dating you so she should have knew to a certain degree that this was going to negatively affect her am i fucking wrong like what do you that's like literally going into a lion's den and being like damn i didn't know it was going to be like this like now i'm missing my legs like i'm bleeding i guess like am i ever going to walk again i don't know maybe i don't know but i didn't think it was going to be like this this lion is really mean by the way i don't know why this lion would be eating my legs and shit like that but this is really uncalled for that's basically what i'm hearing why the fuck did this girl even bother going into a relationship with you not like she could have obviously been under the impression of like oh well you know, maybe Amberlynn's like a really great person that's not gonna happen, but like that's dumb. Literally just watch any Amberlynn read video for like 20 minutes and you realize that Amberlynn is, is a fucking train wreck. So like, no, like even then, no, I can't even forgive that. Like both of you parties are fucking stupid, especially if Tommy literally didn't know. Like, what are you talking about? She didn't know. Like, what are you fucking talking about? She's a grown up, right? The fuck are you talking about? Like, <laughs> okay, whatever. Especially with so many people who like want to create drama or create content regarding her okay. really ultimately hey, you're doing it too though like isn't that kind of crazy that you're also making content about your fucking girlfriend now and like you're actually like literally making content about the drama that you're trying to argue against like what do you you think this is going to make it better like what are we talking about like i, I just don't i don't, I, I just i don't i'm failing to see where you're I'm just failing to see how the fuck you're able to rationalize any of this. So you don't want the drama for her, but you posted her online anyway. And when you did get the drama, instead of just being done with it and just deleting the post and like moving on with your life, you instead made this video claiming that you're an amazing person and telling people to not do drama while you're actively contributing to the drama and you're shitting on people for making content on your girlfriend while you're making content on your girlfriend, which is only going to make other people have more content about your girlfriend. So like, what the fuck are we doing right now? Like, am I fucking stupid? Like, am I...
Am I just like, am I connecting the dots and aren't there? Like, am I, I'm pretty sure I got this, like, I'm pretty sure I'm just like 5D testing this shit right now. Is Amber just not aware of any of this shit transpiring? Like, does she, does she not realize that she is literally the precipice of all this stuff? Okay, whatever, bro. I mean, hey, whatever, whatever. Whatever, Amber, bro. I mean, listen, this is like more of examples of just don't date Amber. Like, Amber is actually struggling real time here. And she's like actually saying the complete opposite of everything that she's doing. But she's trying to make it seem like she's making any sense while she's virtue signaling, which is really fucking cringe. Like, I don't give a fuck that you think that you're a cool person because you can protect your girlfriend. Maybe you should protect yourself from that type 10 diabetes shit and out eating the old Zempic, dude. Like, actually take care of yourself rather than taking care of somebody else who doesn't need to be taken care of since they're literally an adult. You get your fucking shit together before your fucking leg falls off from that sugar foot disease. It's people creating lies and rumors, and it's affecting her. It's affecting me. Oh, really? Is it, is it really affecting all you guys? It'd be really, it's really weird that it's affecting you, and yet you still made this video. It's so weird. Like, it's almost kind of seemed like this video is going to make it worse. I don't know. Like, and it's not even like you don't know that since you've literally had the scenario exactly happen to you like four other times. So, and it's not fair. And it's, it's not, yeah, it's totally not fair. Yeah, you know, no, Amber's right. It's not fair. Um, you know what you should do? You should break up with her. Just break up with her because obviously you are the reason for all of this. You're the reason for all of this. Ah, ah not right she's literally just trying to love me and why does amber talk about this girl like it, she's either she's talking about her relationship as if the person she's dating is like five or a dog I, <laughs> this i mean they're just trying to like love me and like it's always ending for some reason i know that i know amber like grew up in california so it always ends in this like, weird inflection point where it like, goes up at the end of every sentence she's just trying to love me and i'm just trying to help her and it for some reason always looks like it ends in a question mark and i don't know why she does that it's really fucking awful i hate it but for some reason amber is failing to realize that she is the reason for all of this transpiring i don't know why the fuck she's even still posting this video if your girlfriend's having a problem and it's not fair and True. it's not right she's literally just not trying right. to love me and have a relationship with me and she's being torn apart for it so so break up with her. I mean, you know what you got to do, Amber. You're not ready for a relationship to begin with. So I don't even know what you thought. Like, it is what it is. Um, You know what? Hey, man, look, sex is sex. You can probably do that. But a relationship ain't no go for you. It's not It's not it. You're not emotionally mature. I mean, I'm, you're actually struggling to, to step, like, fucking, you're struggling to tie words together in, in a cohesive sentence that actually makes sense. So, nah, like, I don't even think that that's eligible for you. So, yeah, probably just break up with her. So to protect her and to- You're not protecting her, though. Like, it, stop. Stop saying that shit. You're not protecting her. You're literally making a video whilst telling people to stop making videos on her while you make a video on her. That's only going to make people make more videos on her. So, you're literally just like, what you're basically saying is like, hey- stop adding like you're literally standing there with logs okay and you're just like sitting there and you're putting fuel to the fire and you're going stop adding more wood to this like stop, anytime you put wood to this it's bad like anytime stop doing that or like sitting there with a hacksaw and just chopping your fucking leg and going this is this hurts me so bad and it sucks because you guys are doing this to me you're doing this to me right now and this is so ow 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 it hurts me it hurts so bad that you're doing this to me i can't believe you are doing this to me right now. You are bad people. You are really bad. That's what you're doing. That's what you're fucking doing. Take the saw, throw it to the side, break up with your girlfriend. You obviously can't handle it. You're a fucking dumb person for posting this video, Amber. Protect us and to protect our peace. I don't think I want her on camera anymore. And Thank God, right? That should have been the... I don't even know why you made this video then. Like, what are we even fucking talking about? Why did you think that it was even a good idea in general to put her on fucking camera? It almost kind of seems like you haven't been... Like, it did, am I wrong in saying this? It almost kind of seems like I am more up to date with your own lore than you. Uh, I've seen the scenario play out like three other times. Multiple times, too. And you know what? It's not... It doesn't even matter. Because Amber will literally say, I'm not going to put her on camera anymore. But like, literally a week later, she'll put her on camera. I mean, she literally said that she was going to wait to put this most recent girlfriend, Tommy, on camera. But she literally put it on the on camera the same day she said that so i don't even know if any of these words even mean anything so whatever dude you can't even abide by your own rules and i don't think she wants to be on camera cool. like we were going to share our relationship online like, you shouldn't want to do that though you're not a normal person in any way like she was going to be in my videos and i really wanted that and she wanted that like and it's our fault it's our fault huh it's all our fault it's not your fault it's not your fault in any way right like you have contributed zero to any of this stuff that's transpired and i love that i really love that you can somehow manage to externalize all of your problems throughout your entire world you know what amber i would love to ask you this question you know how like you know when you have an Oreo and you pop open the Oreo and there's like two sides of the Oreo, right? There's like a regular side of the Oreo with no cream and then there's the other side of the Oreo with the other cream, right? I just want to know 
like what side of the tide pod do you eat first because it kind of seems like you have like you're like a connoisseur on negative brain capacity and obviously if you're eating tide pods that's going to contribute to that like i just want to know like how the fuck you got here like i, I just want to know where the fuck you get off trying to tell people that we are the problem when you are the entire reason that this shit is going on to begin with so like can we just take some accountability just a little bit all I'm, that's all i'm asking is like literally just look in the mirror really quickly for like 20 seconds literally 20 seconds to say all this stuff please like please and actually have it apply like this is this is actually the pinnacle of stupidity it was gonna be a moment for all of us and i know how many people would have literally loved to see that it's not about us so why are you making it about us dude get your shit together and i know there still are so many of you majority of you are rooting for us and i appreciate that so much but there is a group of people who have ruined the possibility it's it's yeah it's never you right it's it's just the group of people you're right nah you're right what am i talking it can never be you is obviously got to be everybody else right i love amber i love it and i love it's modern right i see this all the time when people externalize every single one of their problems i i just don't know why so many people are so quick so quick to never look in the mirror of something really great for yeah. this channel and i know that i can carry oh, she's not even looking at us crazy she's literally looking at it content brained like she's like it's gonna be great for the channel not great for the relationship obviously not great for her no great for the channel interesting words there huh listen to what she says and listen to the things that she doesn't say as a consequence of that of something really great for this channel and i know that i can carry on this channel by myself i, I hope so it's literally your channel always have somehow i always make it through and what do you mean somehow you always make it through like <laughs> Dude, are we like actually, are you actually admitting that the only way you can make this channel work is if you have other people in your shit? Like this has to be about your relationship. It's like, are you actually admitting that? Like you're saying it's gonna be harder now because you can't rely on somebody else in your videos. And I'm grateful for every single one of you who watch me. But like- What, it, bro, can we just stop for a second? Why does every single sentence have to end in a question mark, Amberlynn? Every single one, it has, and you know, I know that I'm so happy that everybody is happy for me. Why does it always have to end like that? Like there's so much rise at the end of your questions and the ends of your sentences. Why is it like that? Stop with this California talk, dude. Get your shit together. Now I always make it through and I'm grateful for every single one of you who watch me. But like, it would have been fun to have another element. I know you guys would have loved that, but also- Dude, look. It's cool if you can have somebody that comes onto your channel and maybe once in a while amplifies shit, okay? But the way I want to look at this is more so like you should have your own channel. Amber Lynn should have her own channel. It's like when you do drugs. You shouldn't be relying on the drugs to make you even because a lot of people will go, man, I only smoke weed to make myself feel like me, right? That's a problem. That means you've lost yourself at some way, someplace and now you're supplementing that with weed, okay? Or other drugs. So if you're using drugs to even you out, that's an issue. But if you're using drugs to give you that little oomph every once in a while that gives you like you're at, you're at your regular sedentary life and then boom you get that little oomph right that little hump but you're back you're still good that's the way it should be for your channel the way you're talking about it is literally going i need somebody that will make me just make me normal that's what i'm hearing from you that's not a good thing that's not a good thing amber ultimately mental health comes first Bro. people's well yeah I, i'm sorry bro I'm, i can't i can't watch this shit if amber like amber is literally a fucking dumb person i'm so i don't i'm not trying i'm literally not trying to be mean right now dude but this is actually agonizing to listen to amber literally say everything that she's she's projecting so fucking hard she's projecting so hard talking about some mental health what are you talking about right now dude you're like literally the entire reason all this is transpiring and you're talking about mental health like what are you talking about right now dude get the fuck up dude like stop virtue signaling I just want you to stop virtue signaling. I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of you taking the moral high ground every chance you possibly can to make it seem like you're a great person. Stop it, okay? Nobody is that fucking good, all right, dude? Just, I'm sick of people saying things. Okay, I'm so sick of people saying things in a very nice way, but what they're actually saying is fucking just atrocious, dude. The worst shit you could possibly say. But because somebody said it in a nice way, well, then suddenly... It's so, it's so great. No, you said a whole bunch of disgusting shit and you expect me to just, no, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't care. I'm going to yell and I'm going to scream. But as long as the context of what, of what I'm saying is good, that should be what matters. I don't give a fuck the way I receive that shit, okay? As long as it's good overall, your shit is the complete opposite. You're saying shit very, very flavorfully, but what you're saying is atrocious. Love that. But ultimately, mental health comes first. <laughs> 
people's well-being comes first. No shit. And, and this video is doing nothing for any of that. And, like, I'm actually doing all the stuff myself. And even though I'm telling people that they're the problem, I'm actually the problem. I don't want anything to affect my girlfriend because she means... Stop. Just, I'm not even going to say anything. Just, just, just stop. Just stop. The absolute world to me. It just sucks. You just met her. You just met her. You just met her. Like a lot that this has happened. It was literally just because of a 16 second clip. Of oh, it's so bad. Oh, it's just, it's too easy to rip this woman apart, dude. It's like the lowest hanging fruit possible, dude. And like, I feel like if I said anything right now, it would just be dumb to say it because it's so easy to dismantle this shit because of a 16 second clip. You really think that's the reason? You really think that's the problem? You think through all the years that you've been on the internet, all the relationships that you've had and had problems with because of social media that you have fully put on display because that's what you wanted to do on your channel and somehow you think it's only because of a 16 cl a second clip on TikTok or Instagram. Really, I'm gonna let you know something, Amber. It's not the video. <laughs> it's not the video. Trust me, it's not the video. The problem is you. The problem is that you have a failing to understand that you are the reason for this transpiring. You are a incapable person to be in a relationship with. You make these things the issue. It's not the video. That's just the, that's just the vehicle to the means at which the problem is. The, the, my, that this has happened it was literally just because of a 16 second clip. i fuck i fucking hate when people do this shit like i hate when people downplay what they're actually doing dude just stop shut up just shut the fuck up just say what you fucking did okay stop acting like this is like i saw something i saw something the other day and they were this was like oh bro i'm losing i'm losing all this stuff because all i did was this and i'm just thinking like no nah, that's not all you did you did a whole bunch of other shit you just like like i hate when people say this is all i did like i didn't even do like i, I didn't even do much like what do you fucking talk about you what about all the shit that happened before that what about the build-up what about like all that other shit that transpired before that point you can't just say this is all I did when everything else is being ignored. That's dumb. That's stupid, dude. Look at what you fucking did and don't sit there and go, oh, but I didn't do anything. It was just this. What do you know? It wasn't just this. Clip of us just being happy. It's not, it's not. Okay. You're fucked. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry if I keep pausing. Amber is literally pissing me off right now. It was literally just because of a 16 second clip of us just being happy and us just being in love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. It's just like. I have to pause just to buffer myself for the cringe. It's just too much cringe. There's way too much cringe right now, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The pausing. I know a lot of people have problems with me pausing. Dude, there's so much cringe. My my tea kettle is bubbling over right now. This is incapable levels of cringe. I think that we just need to do better as people. I don't really know what else to say right now. Can you, can you please look in the mirror when you say that? What do you mean people? Do you count yourself as more than one people? No. Um, Maybe. It just ultimately sucks really bad and it's like as much as i wanted people to do the right thing i sh should have known that like that wasn't gonna happen yes this is true i don't know why you would even expect anybody to do the right thing for you when nobody owes you anything at all who are you first of all you're a fucking nobody like you're a fucking like you're just why are you so entitled why are you so entitled at all dude you're a fucking dumb person this is stupid, Amber. This is beyond dumb. And the fact that you made this video is actually... I hope you delete this, dude. I'm like... <laughs> look, dude. This is a delete-worthy video. This is a crazy-ass video you just put out right here. Uh, maybe unlist it. I don't know, dude. Like, whatever, bro. Uh, because this is a... This is a bad video, Amber. I am being a nice person here. You need to delete this video. This is dumb. This entire video is stupid. From, from 0 to 8.45... It is dumb. It is stupid. It is lacking mental capacity. You're... That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Go ahead, Amber. People Finish should do the right thing. Finish it up. I should have known that, like, that wasn't going to happen. And that's really sad, really. I don't really know when I'm going to be filming again. I kind of just feel, like, defeated a little bit. And it's just hard. So, anyways, um... I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, oh. Hey, I 
that's that was hard i didn't think it was gonna be as hard as it was to get through that that was very difficult man that was a tough video slog through dude wow, 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 wow. that was a fucking slog man amber is you know as much as i think i used to think amber was a good person i used to think she was just in a terrible situation and just, it was you know i was lacking context but now that i've seen it and now that i've seen what she's done and capable of doing dude i just gotta say it right now it's her fault ah don't know what to say bro what do you want from me dude it's her fucking fault she puts herself in these positions and then she complains about it to everybody else because they did it apparently even though she's the one that did it don't be her girlfriend like it's up to you bro like stop being fucking like i get it you think you're gonna get like cloud or something like that and like maybe you can help the ozempic or something like that it's a lost cause it's over dude forget about that shit it's the sinking ship all right there's nothing you can do at this point it's fucking underwater the shit is basically i don't even know how much underwater it is at this point like it's fucking imploded like the submarine shit that's fucking under the water next to the titanic it's gone it's over it's fucking stop it get away from this person <sighs> anyway you're beautiful i smell your mouth every single morning and it tastes very very uh you know professional very professional mouth and i like that it's really good on you uh, anyway, uh, if you enjoyed today's video, I appreciate everybody leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all this stuff I'd appreciate tremendously. Um, helps me grow in the algorithm. Thank you, everybody that's already subscribed. Everybody that is a member of the channel, you're an amazing person. I smell your mouth, and it smells very, very good. Uh, if you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in coffee. Uh, I feel like this woman probably needs a little bit of a, a, li a little bit of caffeine herself because it seems like she has very, very low energy in this video. I mean, she literally started the video crying, which is cringy as fuck. Like, that should have really sealed the deal for us. Watching Amberlynn cry at the very beginning of this video should have been, like, the fucking... I don't even know what I'm going to title this video. Like, maybe I'll just, like, dismantling Amberlynn Reed or, like, calling Amber out on her fucking bullshit. I don't know, dude. Like, just, everything here was fucking hogwash. Like, I can't even think of one thing that she said right in this entire video. When she, did, when she did say something that was right, it was almost immediately paired with some bullshit and not taking account of which is obvious for somebody like Amberlynn. But uh, this video is like an hour long. I hope you don't mind the hour long videos. Like, I, I don't know. I haven't, I guess I have like a really big, I don't know, dude. I get it. Like the video is eight minutes and 44 seconds and you know, whatever. And I somehow managed to make, I don't know. Sometimes I just like go off or whatever, dude. I'm sorry. Like, what do you want from me, dude? I'm afraid. What do you want? I don't know. Like, I'm sorry. But uh, if you're here, I appreciate you. I like your armpit hair. It's nice. I think you should braid it. Or at least tell me about it before you do braid it or shave it off so I can look at it for a little bit just to make sure it's good and delightful. Really nice. Yeah, really nice armpit hair. Wow, really good armpit hair. <sighs> can I have it? No, I'm sorry. I don't want it. I don't, unless. Anyway, if you want to check out my social media, it will be linked down below in the description of the video and the description of the channel. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.